Hey grandma, so I wanted to talk today about uh, platelets and I had a few questions and platelets are basically uh, cell fragments from megakaryocytes, one of the uh, cells in our immune system. And what platelets do is that they, uh, they act in a process known as hemostasis where they s stop uh, bleeding, like when you get a cut, uh, platelets will aggregate and they will um, form somewhat of a clot uh, and and stop the, the blood from from coming through uh, like in, in blood vessels and other things that it does is it also plays a role in immune responses and uh, inflammatory responses um, some of the ways that it can be detrimental or, or they, they can have a, a bad effect is when uh, you know platelets can be overactive in certain cases where um, they form clots in our in our bloods uh, also known as embolisms where uh, let's say you have a clot in your in your leg and it can travel up to your lungs and create a major prob problem uh, it can also go up and, and into your into your brain and and, and then you can suffer a, a stroke sometimes uh, one of these factors that play there, there's there's this huge uh, kind of chain reaction of chemicals that plays a, a role in forming uh, these clots and uh, this aggregation between platelets and uh, one of the factors is known as von, von uh, Willebrand factor and uh, sometimes usually this is one of the factors that plays a role in in this uh, chain reaction but uh, there has been instances where it uh, aggregation can result without this factor and uh, it's mainly been found in people with uh, people that are prone to this this are, are those with diabetes or those who, who smoke um, the other question that you had was what was uh, Brady Kinnon and uh, Brady Kinnon is basically a vasodilator and it uh, binds to muscle uh, smooth muscle cells in, in your blood vessels where it expands and, and then that leads to uh, an, an inflammation response uh, and basically more immune cells can come in um, macrophages uh, neutrophils um, other other immune cells and uh, also ACE inhibitors um, are some of the drugs that you can t take which also uh, would you usually use for people with hypertension and they um, ACE inhibitors is what they do is that they prohibit they they, they uh, cancel out the uh, a reaction of an enzyme uh, that can that breaks down bradykinin and the bradykinin once this you have ASIN, you're taking an ACE inhibitor then this uh, uh, enzyme is, in, is is being blocked and so you have more bradykinin which leads to um, vasodilation or, you know remain remainder of vasodilation and so that's one of the ways to prevent or treat hypertension um, in terms of aspirin it is a blood thinner and you should only take it when you've been predisposed to a disease such as a heart attack or a stroke um, it's only been shown to help therapeutically uh, for patients who have have uh, suffered from su such diseases um, I guess that's, that's about it uh, nitric oxide is also a vasodilator um, it's produced by the uh, endothelial cells of, of, of uh, blood vessels um, oh I actually had a slight uh, little diagram so you can consider these to be megakaryocytes right and here's a kind of a blown up version um, I'm sorry these are platelets this is a megakaryocyte which uh, is fragments into these platelets right once it's being broken down and uh, platelets usually contain mitochondria kind of drew one there it's kind of small 
um, but it also has uh, these other things like granules that you know they, they you, have, you find calcium and other um, other uh, chemicals within the platelet but uh, you have these granules you have dense granules and alpha granules and they contain these uh, factors and chemicals that uh, that when released you know uh, they basically fall into kind of like a domino effect a chain reaction that, that leads to more platelets coming and they they uh, uh, they see this uh, chemicals like thrombin and they uh, pretty much start attaching to the platelet next to it you know once it's, it's once the first initial platelet binds to binds to a uh, endothelial cell uh, within the blood vessel and, and then it'll the chain reaction occurs when these when these granules are are released and release all the the chemical substances that they have in like thrombin so that's basically it. Uh, kind of running out of time, going a little bit overboard, but I will talk to you next week.